Hey folks, it's Brian and uh, I have a Friday off so I'm gonna work on my Jeep. And uh, where I last left off, I have the windshield folded down, I have the dashboard parked because I was waiting on this. I had it in mist gray or whatever the hell it was. Anyway, now that I have the right color, uh, this piece has to go in first before I put the airbag in. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on the alert so you find out when I post new videos and check out the playlist for this Jeep rebuild project. Uh, it's been going on for a little over a year now. Spent a lot of time at the frame shop. Um, you know, good, cheap, fast, what do you want? I chose good and cheap. So anyway, let me get the camera set up and we'll get going. All right, so the most irritating piece of this is uh, this bracket and its companion on the other side. Um, for whatever stupid reason, Jeep thinks you can get in there from this side. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but that is just not how that's going to work. Oh, damn it. Uh, there it is. I had to remove the tag. Uh, I bought these on eBay um, from uh, Baseline 4x4 Recyclers. Really well packed. Um, shipped quickly. Fair price. Very, very happy with them. Um, I've bought a bunch of parts for this salvage project uh, from them and uh, I'm going to turn around these clips and I'm gonna do it my way because I'm the one that has to fucking work on it so what do I mean by turn around these clips so I'm gonna turn around a little bit it's not a nice place to put the uh, Um, so I'm going to turn these around so that the bolt comes from this side because it'll be a lot easier to get to. And in order to do that, I need a screwdriver, but not that screwdriver. And of course, the instant I want a screwdriver, they all fucking vanish. But whatever. So if you twist this... early in the morning for me to stab myself god damn it so there's some kind of stupid little metal clip in here um, in addition to whatever in the hell else is hold this in. normally these things are pretty straightforward to get out here we go so um, there is a little metal retainer clip in there and again, we're just gonna turn this around. So this is how they come from the factory. They screw in from the outside and I'm gonna turn it around so it screws in from the inside, okay? And now that that's in, we'll do the other one here. And essentially, best I can tell, you need to insert the, the screwdriver here in order to pop this clip. There you go. And once you've popped the, that spring out of that hole, this thing will pop right out. You turn it around, slide it back in. Say a few cuss words, and ta-da, it's in. So, uh, all right. I don't think these are supposed to be bent, so I'm gonna see if I can unbend them. I'm trying really hard not to cuss this early in the morning. I'm not sure I'm going to win that battle. Fucking stupid design. So yes, I have lost that battle already. So I'm going to use a pair of uh, channel locks and there we go. I just think this will be easier if it's been unbent. And of course, Jeep's answer is trash the fucking Jeep. Fuck y'all. I think Stellantis knows how to make is a fucking uh, espresso machine. All right, so these go here in theory. Let me climb up here and see what the hell is going on. Why is 
this is not fitting. there. It's like the dash curled on it or something. But that's exactly what happened. I bet it bent the dashboard um, when the airbag deployed. So let's see how to unbend that. one of these stupid fucking screws. Where'd the other one go? It's gonna be one of those days. All right, um, so, gee, I don't know. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. How are we going to unbend this? Hydraulic jack would be one way to do it. I don't even know that it's bent though. That's the problem. I mean, it sure acts like it's bent. But that's like a fucking inch. No, that can't be right. We're going to set these in the magnetic tray and we'll move the magnetic tray up there where we can find it again. And then we'll climb up here and set on some screws. on its own. Uh, again, if I haven't said it enough, I think it's a really stupid idea to make one piece of plastic for the dash, and this is just an example of one, one reason. That seems to be in place, so I guess it overhangs that way. Whatever. That is a particularly difficult piece of material to install. So now that it's in, I'm going to hang the dash so that I can get behind it. And Son of a bitch. Now I gotta try to line this up. Uh, let me find a flashlight. I'll be right back. So it appears that my problem actually has to do with these clips. And I managed to push one off and then the other. So I think the clips actually have to move onto the frame for this to work. So let's move them onto the frame. I'm going to stick them facing up. Again, let's try it again. Now that we understand what the fucking hang up was.
This uh, little metal retaining clip is part of my problem, so we're going to unretain it. Take these off for a minute and just see what this looks like. I don't get it. I mean, I just don't fucking get it. Airbag firing bent these brackets. And I can see that's bent. This will not move for a whole new dash. That ain't fucking happening. issues. So this side on here, over here, appears to be lined up. hell's going on. Yeah, this is bent. So, let me see if I can unbend it. Well, I'm going to need a bigger... To, to do this right, I'm going to need a bigger wrench. Um, and the bigger wrench isn't for leverage. It's so I can get in here at the right angle. Alright, so 
that one's good. So apparently these bent out. Who knew? All right, so that lined that up. We're not there on the other side. We'll, we'll fight with that in a minute. Um, Bad decisions, bad decisions, bad decisions. Easier if this whole thing was out. But we're not going to do it that way because, well, we just don't want to. So I've got it lined up. Now I'm trying to get this piece of shit to line up. So let me twist this so you guys can see what I'm doing. So it's just, this air conditioning ductwork is really in the way um, from this angle. It just makes it really hard to get in here and do anything meaningful. I don't know why. You know what? I'm going to take a different approach to this. I'll be right back. Possible to get those clips back in, but it turns out that these are M6 by one threads. I have a little thread keychain on my desk. Uh, I probably should go get it, but I'm not gonna. And I was missing two dash bolts anyway, so I bought a bag of 25 of them, knowing 23 were probably gonna end up in a drawer being cussed at because they're never the right size. But it turns out that these fit perfectly, so I'm gonna convert it to just a loose goddamn nut. And um, anyway, so let's do it to it. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench if you're using the same um, free spinning washer nuts or washer nuts, depending on who you buy them from. They're gonna be called a couple different things. So uh, let me put this back down here and do something that I'll probably regret later. because there's no good way to get to this. You can see it, but I can't touch it. So that's that's part one. I mean, there's really not a good way to get to this. Bad ideas for 300, please, Alex. Um, I've got a little steppy stool thing that I'm gonna get on because I think that's gonna improve my odds of not using all the cuss words in my vocabulary this morning. There we go. So, um, I 
I, I gotta say, if you don't have the windshield down, you might find this to be rather difficult. So, um, you'd be rem you would not be remiss if you thought, hey, is he going to put any Loctite on that? you damn right I am. I'm going to add it to the, the nut, though. design shit that can't be worked on. Even with the dash out, this would be difficult. You know what, I'm gonna just pause for a second because I'm irritated and this is not gonna get any better. Let's just take the fucking dash out. I didn't want to do this, but you know what, I'm working on, I, I'm working on the fucking steering wheel anyway. I gotta fuck with the clock spring, so let's just take the dash out. with an extension. Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's not 14. It's 13. Oops. That's a pretty serious mistake on a steering wheel. And now it won't break loose. So we'll use the torque wrench to break it loose. So, uh, there aren't really any good options at this point. We'll set that overpriced piece of shit up there. Trash. We'll take the explosives, i.e. the airbag, and we'll set it over here. And the way you get this off is you just...
So it's wiggling. Disconnect the cruise control. Yeah, the steering column doesn't want to stay locked, so that's another project. But right now it's wiggling. I tightened it pretty good. It's coming off, it's just being really slow. Don't understand why. Steering wheel pillar would be great, but there's not really anywhere to attach one to this steering wheel. Dumbass fucking design. non-dead blow hammer and just see if I can whack it.
I can see it wiggling. Nor do I understand how to give it enough leverage because I don't have anything that'll get in here. take these screws off anyway so I'm gonna work on that for a minute there's screws on the bottom of uh, the steering column that have to come out man it worries me when I see bolts up here and I'm like I don't know what that goes to You know, I've taken enough of the rest of this apart. I'll figure it out. It'll come back together. There's one screw. Oh, what the fuck am I going to do with these? I'll just set them in here because, yeah, that's a popular place to set screws right now. Life of me, this thing won't stay up. I'll have to figure that one out later. I suspect. Yeah, it's designed for two jaw puller. So I'm just gonna I'm 
hoping the vibrations will help get it out. I gotta go get a puller. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll be back. God damn it. Alright, folks. So I went to O'Reilly. Uh, the O'Reilly by me, the manager, likes to have nice rental tools available. So that's where I go to get my rental tools now. And it's a free rental. Essentially, you pay for the tool, uh, use it, and bring it back. And as long as you didn't destroy it or damage it, they give you a refund. And I'm like, alright, that's fair. So, uh,. This, this is a two or three jaw puller. Um, I have it in a two jaw configuration and it, it will reach back behind the steering wheel. And then uh, it's a 13 millimeter or half inch. Um, all right. So I'm pretty sure that was all there was to it. Uh, let me loosen this bolt. Nope, it's gonna need a second pull. Uh, the impact ratchet does make this a lot faster. I'm pushing against the bolt so I don't damage the threads uh, or anything else in the steering. Okay. There it goes. So it was just that simple. Uh, two jaw puller, reach behind it, and um, on to my next pain in the ass headache in my project. So, we're just going to spread out and put this shit somewhere else. This needs to come out, uh, so let's go ahead and take care of this while it's easily accessible and potentially valuable. On the one hand, it's nice that, you know, everything on Jeep is a positive locking connector. On the other hand, it's irritating because it's a pain in the ass to get shit apart. There we go, got that one out. So this tab is up here. So there we go. And this one is the wrong connector for the airbag. That's specifically what's wrong with it. All right. So let's see if we can get the steering or the dashboard out past this. Take all the shit down that's going to get lost. screw back here for the air conditioning uh, window vent just a standard trim screw so nothing magical it really seems like there's been a lot of dirt in the side of the vehicle all right and then you've got some wiring that needs to be released All right. 
right, and this looks like it's going to be best served by the pliers that are for trim. So we'll just stick this back under here. There it goes. So that's my dashboard harness. got a ground here let's see what it is it's uh, underneath the speaker on the driver's side appears to be a five millimeter bolt There's some more wiring over here. Let's see what we got going on the other side. Got a little bit more down here. All right, there is a plug back behind here, so this is gonna be the simplest solution to this. All right, that's probably a source of a lot of uh, ground pro or wiring problems for people, so I think we're good there. Let's go ahead and untie the other side. And there's a plug over here that needs to be undone. It's a pretty standard looking Jeep plug. It's got a locking tab on it that needs to be slid over. It's a uh, difficult to work with your fingers. There it goes. So I think 
at this point I've got the dash completely loose, so I'm gonna see see if I can figure out what's holding me back. driver's side. Well, apparently there is a second plug. can't see anything down there. releases. Let's look at the other one. unhook and that makes it easier. Oh, I see what's going on here. All right, that's easy enough. Okay, so I think at this point the whole dash is clear. Or as I jokingly say, clear for departure. but I think this is going to be a lot faster. So I'll regroup outside where I can work on this. disconcerting and shit's dropping off the dash as you walk out the door. And no pressure, it's uh, threatening to rain today. But this will be a lot easier to work on in this orientation. Let me go get some more stuff. Of course, when I finally have time to work on the Jeep and I get uh, it, the dash outside, it looks like it wants to rain. Alright, so I think that was the wrong direction. Alright, so I think those are lined up. Let me move this and I'm going to try and work quickly because it really does look like it wants to rain. And Motherfucker. Now it's going to rain on me. Alright, 
Let me move. Let me move right now. God damn it. Okay, so I'm using a trash can as a brace. And uh, I am leaning against the hood of the Jeep and I brought it back inside because, yeah. All right, so. Where were we before we were so inconveniently irritated by the rain? Okay, so I need to find something. Uh, I need to find the other six millimeter bolt or go steal one off something else. Right back. Okay, so I've got the second one and um, I'm gonna put a little bit of lock, thread lock on it. Looking for my blue thread locker. Good thing I came in, it decided to let go outside. And again, we're gonna This is definitely not lining up the way I'd like it to. There it goes. I think we're on the downside of this. So now you need a T15 bit and a 10 millimeter wrench. Actually, this one's T30. That's right. Let me get that one. raining good and hard now. I'm going to see if I can get this in here with... Nope. Okay, so that's going to get it most of the way. Now I'm going to finish it with a hand ratchet because that will fit down in here. And again, this is a lot easier to work on in this orientation. So there's one. I think that's actually a little bit bigger. Sure as hell isn't a T40. Well, that's a T25. And I think this is 
Well, let's see if T27 fits better. It does. Oh, what do you know? It's a T27. And as I've said before, whoever did this, fuck you for your stupid design. I think that's good enough. Set that up there where it can try to scratch the paint, and let's turn this around. Alright, so we are essentially in here. There are some grommets that go in, so we'll take care to get those in, and then we've got some screws that go in. I don't know where they go in. I'm looking to see what else should happen while I'm back here, or while I'm in here. Oh yeah, you know what should happen? I should put the explosives in. Let me get the explosives. I do have to agree this is much easier to do with it this is with the dashboard out and upside down all right let me find a socket Okay, so this is a 10 millimeter socket and I needed a deep, um, which I only have in quarter inch, but that's fine because this is not something that should require a lot of torque.
All right. So these are in. I'm going to give them a nice twist to make sure they're snug. I don't give a fuck what the torque setting is supposed to be on these. All right. stereo pack and that's the other bullshit all right so I think it's ready to go back in god that was fucking annoying a lot of work for not a whole lot really wasn't that bad once it was out what that's for. Got two of these, I don't know what they are. I'm sure I'll figure it out once this starts to go back together. I'm like, hey, where's that fucking bowl? Um, looking for things that might rattle. Why is there gravel inside the dash? All right, let me uh, reposition the camera so you guys can watch me wrestle the dashboard back in with the explosives in it. I mean, airbag, same thing. stand on the seat, but quite frankly, it's easier. setting it down on top of the bolts that hold it so I can climb back out. That really wasn't that bad. But I've still got a lot of wire to string, so I'm going to start on that next. I'm going to start at that end. Might as well leave the camera where it's at. The exception that it really does need be charged, ain't no reach. So there is a heater control cable that comes through here, and there is a green cable for the dash that goes behind the glove box. All right, that's in. Good, that's good. All right.
one dash connector. second dash connector. Let's get the lock and then let's slide these back in their homes. We'll get to that in a second. These come up here. Sadly, that suggests it is an original. Um, Probably the original Jeep speakers, and they probably suck ass. Uh, probably one of the first things I would change. in. place so let's go do the other side and I think we can move the camera at this point all right while this is still loose we need to put a uh, we need to secure the defrost vent
it's just any old trim screw will work. There's nothing magical about it. None of these appear to be a tight fit. They appear to have kept the YJ styling of, we'll just blow air at it and maybe it'll work. stuff in but I think we're there I think at the next point uh, we've just got to plug the airbag back in and we've got two bolts up on the firewall so let me get the lock thread lock I don't think I can give you a good show of these just when you take the da the glove box out you're gonna find these just they're they're up in here. Nice bolts or nuts. Like all the way up in here. And this is what secures the back of the airbag to the firewall. Oh no, those are door. What the hell? That's why they're nice. I sure as hell don't want any on those. Ah, oh, it's these. So I think, yeah, these are a 15 millimeter nut. you're like, hey man, he's kind of jumpy. Yeah, I'm, I've got explosives in my face, so yes I am.
Okay, so next what I'm going to do is put the top nuts in. And the two in the middle were missing, so I ordered replacements for those. I'll, uh, if you need these, I'll post a link to what I bought on Amazon so that you can use them. Missing uh, nuts on the dash will absolutely make it rattle, so I realize it's a Jeep, it'll never be rattle free, but I can at least be low rattle. I might have to undo these up here. That was a risk. Probably them right there. Nope. That 
that's that one. Might be at 27. That's exactly what it is. like we're missing one up here. Yep, we sure are. It's another of my favorite fucking fasteners. There we go. That wasn't so bad. get it on. convinced that these really need but 
I'm going to put it on there anyway because it certainly isn't going to hurt anything. issue here where this tab is not going in. There it goes. One goes here. And we're going to put one here as a placeholder, but there isn't anything we can do with it. We got a bunch up here. Let's deal with the upfitter panel. It's going to require four screws.
times 2. is climate control. Alright, we gotta go around and free it. It's stuck on something. got another wire trapped. take the uh, up fitter panel loose again in order to figure out where the climate control plug is. idea where it's at. I just can't find it. I think it's behind uh, the ductwork for the air conditioning, which is pretty shitty configuration.
certain that's where it is. Let me see if I um, loosen these if I can get it out. Fan control. Alright, let's go to figure out where the fuck it's at. I'm gonna have to loosen the the um, dash to fucking look for this wire.
I got it. It's just down here below this. somewhere. Loosen the dash up to try and locate the um, fan control wires. First, I gotta find. I don't think this has to come out. I think I can just lift it up and get to what I want. take some more stuff out. All right, let's give it another shot. This doesn't want to fit. Should be just fine at this point. And it's acting like it just isn't the right size. I mean, that's just fucking crazy. It's completely acting like it's not the right size.
I'll put it outside and let it warm up and go eat lunch. All right, so I stopped and had lunch and we'll see if this, uh, I left this outside. All right, we're just gonna do it the hard way. So I'm hoping that it will have expanded just a hair and that will make it easier to get this to go on. The fuck? understand why it won't go on. Cheat a little bit, and I'm gonna put the screw in or the bolt. I really think this needs anti seize. Let me see if I can find some anti seize real quick. All right, no anti seize. I think that's it right there. All right, I'm gonna stop and go check the internet and see what it has to say. Okay, so the consensus is, um, that you just tighten it down. So I want to make sure it's not in it. Well, it's been a minute since we did anything here, so there we are. There we go. We'll snap 
that back in place because it doesn't like to stay. And then we'll just use this to bring it in. I swear this went together easier last time. There we go. Feels like it's got some kind of little burr on it or something. sure it's good and snug so I'm gonna lower this in here <clears throat> good enough all right now let's get to the fun part remember these I said I don't know what the fuck these are for yeah I remember now they hold the airbag in so now let me find the other one ah, here's the other one so these go in from the back, they're eight millimeter. So let me find that. That's a nine. So we're looking for an eight. That isn't it. That's a 10. So I can go back there. everything we need to put this back together except for that now we have everything we need so let's get the explosives and get the show on the road oh yeah I guess uh, and there's no telling which of these goes where Fuck, that's gonna be a pain in the ass if the cruise control doesn't work I will have to take the airbag out and fuck with it again that's irritating so I should have marked these, but honestly, they should be different connectors. I have no idea which one's which, so we will find the fuck out. That's not the answer I like either. So let's bring the explosives over. And we'll plug in the horn. Followed by... Let's see. There's that. I just don't trust this thing. Hence why I keep referring to it as the explosives. Fortunately, it's a little bit difficult to re-engage these screws. Oh shit, where'd that one go? Let's 
see if we can figure out what's going on here. Should line it up. It's not lining up. lined up and it's roughed in so now let's get this one roughed in God, I hope I don't have to take this fucking thing apart
both of them snug. So now I'm gonna tighten them. Those are both in. It's time to put the windshield back up. Fucking A. We're making progress. Or at least it smells like it. Okay, so first things first, I need to clear the debris. There's a piece of aluminum up here.
it was a T40 and it stripped out. So we will get rid of it. deal if these if this stuff just went together and came apart easily all this nerve wrap is uh, half the problem
I wish. But we'll see. You need to look a lot more like a Jeep. like $130 in shipping. But, you know, now it's complete. It's going to have to pop back off here because I've got two screws that hold down the center trim. I don't think that's going to survive for long. put a few things away. Okay. 
Okay. More things to put away. So we just gotta undo a couple screws here. Not a big deal. I'm gonna come around to the other side because it's easier to see what I'm doing. All right. This is a major repair. Um, this puts both airbags back in place. Um, I'm very, very excited and happy about this. So it's not perfect, but it's okay. So we're done on the inside. I'm not gonna put the radio back in because I'm planning to change that. And uh, you know, at some point I will reinstall, I don't know what the hell this is for. Um, at some point I will, uh, well, I'm gonna reinstall the door next. Let me bring the camera over here so you guys can see that. get these on. Which shouldn't be a big deal, but probably will be. Uh, those probably T30s. Or 40s. Yeah, it's a 40. Thank you. 
right, folks, I hope you guys found this entertaining and interesting. Uh, that is replacing the airbags. I'm sorry it was such a shit show. I probably would do this differently. I'd just go to take fuck a dash out. But hey, it's done. It's a major repair. It's on the way to getting this thing street legal again and getting it licensed and enjoying it as a Jeep and not as a garage fucking princess. So, thanks for watching. Tune in next time for more cuss words and fun. magic moment when you go, well, do I go get a puller or do I sit here and fight with it? I don't know. I think I'm going to rig something up. So I'm going to put this bolt back in. But not all the way. I'm going to leave it about an eighth of a uh, quarter of an inch out. Let me move the camera so you guys can see my shenanigans. Shenanigans. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to tighten these down. Shit, what the fuck is that doing up there? Uh, see if I can deal with that in a minute. I think I can get that back through there. That's that stupid radio harness. Me. I thought I was going to take it apart yet yeah, a goddamn again. Um, so I got to start putting some screws back in. But first, I got to get rid of a screw. Where are my nippers? I think I'm just going to take the wire down. Supposed to be one there, but I have no idea where it goes.
Holy shit. All right. More fun on the other side. All right, beginning to feel like I might have a Jeep still. There's a clock spring. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't really related to clock spring, this is dash. So let's... on the sides that go in that don't have anything to do with the trim. And if I had just taken the dash out, this would have been a lot easier. would have required using a steering wheel puller to pull the steering wheel, but it would have been a lot easier. I wonder if this is broken. Sure looks like it's broken, but this is not a priority at the second. Take a picture of this. Alright, now it's 
loose and I can look for it. down inside the heater core area. Well, that's the speakers, or the stereo. Okay, so those are all accounted for now. Stereo wires are in place, tuck them in. So now we can tighten everything back up. Well, better now than later. Let's get these back in. Just screw, screw, screws, baby. Ah. Well, that's nice. 
nice and fast. there are multiple uh, climate control options because there's fasteners behind here but there's uh, no screw hole in the climate control module. Alright, the climate control module's in. Now we need more screws for the upfitter panel. same screw so it's really not a big deal just find one and screw it in all right that was a little bit of a scare um so I guess next we need to deal with clock spring and the driver airbag. Uh, I've got a bunch of screws over there I could do, but um, yeah, I'm going to do those first. about 400 screws over on this side. Oh, and you know what? A lot of them are underneath here. a lot of screws for this uh, stupid airbag cover. It's not a very great design. Could have made this completely modular and easy to deal with. Think how many more jeeps it would have saved from the scrapyard. Okay.
now we need to figure out what goes on the back of these. I think it's just standard nuts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Standard nuts. going to use new ones and just over it.
that's good. these go to the hinges and or the keepers for the door but I'm just going to put them in so that I know where they're at that. These are top bolts. Time for the other side.
All right. I'm tired of looking at this. This is ugly. These are uh, different screws from the rest of the trim screws that go in the speaker grills. It's going to rattle. That's going to irritate me. Alright, so next we get to deal with the um, clock spring. zip tie here it's very nice of them to ship it that way I'm pretty sure it goes there all right that looks good Those are in. So next what we need to do is uh, switch to different fit. I wonder where they went. Dab of thread lock. And we'll run these in gently with tool. That just simplifies my life for my hands. Okay, so now that could go in there, but it's not going to. So we've got the top one, so we're going to lower this. screws put in.
missing one of the magic screws. That's irritating. Let's look up here and see if it fell out. I'm not seeing it. ground. particularly irritating because I had it. And I have a pretty good idea what happened. Reset. You can't find it. Uh, let's see if it's in here somewhere. Nope. Doesn't have any business in there, so that's good. It's easy enough to deal with later. All right. So clock springs in. Steering wheel is next. in and then these come up through here
wrong. shouldn't be that far off. It should be almost perfect. I don't understand it. It's like it's never been here before. Piece of shit. I see the... I see the mating tab. now because this was on here bef just a little while ago and now it won't go Like there's anything wrong with it. Yet it's acting like it's never been here before. There is a key to it. Alright. away that this won't go on here now.
I'm going to take the steering wheel outside and let it warm up. 